In this tutorial, I'll introduce um, Unity's tool Pro Builder that's going to allow us to make more complicated 3D shapes and even do some um, 3D modeling right inside the Unity editor. Um, so when you look at a, uh, a scene built in Pro Builder, you might notice that you have access to some shapes that you wouldn't have access to otherwise. Um, in general, in Unity, uh, if you right click on the hierarchy and choose 3D object, you can make a cube, a sphere, a capsule, which is like a pill shaped object, um, a cylinder, a plane, a quad, or um, a couple of uh, specialty um, 3D objects like terrain and uh, text and things like that. But you might be like, oh, I wanted to make a pyramid, or I wanted to make a donut, or I wanted to um, create stairs, or I would like to start with a cube and be able to reshape it um, like a sculptor would. So that's where Pro Builder comes in. Um, and Pro Builder is a package that we have to install. Uh, to do so, you go up to Window, Package Manager, and then Depending on where you are in your project, um, you might be looking at a list of your assets, things you've downloaded from the asset store, or you might be looking at the assets that are already in your project. Um, the way you change that is by going up to the top left of the package manager, and here it'll say packages colon and then whatever, either in project or my assets or something like that. But um, if you wanna add Pro Builder to a project that doesn't have it yet, we need to go under Unity Registry. And there, in um, alphabetical order, you will find Pro Builder. Um, so I've already got it in my project, but you would hit, um, what's it going to say? Install. <laughs> um, and then Pro Builder will take some time and be added to your project. Um, then you can so once Pro Builder is installed into your project, then you can add the Pro Builder window to your uh, user interface. So we'll go up to Tools, and there will now be a Pro Builder option. And we can hit um, Pro Builder window. And at first, it will um, either pop out just as kind of a hovering window, or it might be snapped somewhere where you don't like it. So just like with all windows in Unity, you can grab um, the tab and put it somewhere you would like it to be. I'm gonna kind of stick it on the side of my hierarchy here. And the Pro Builder window can look one of two ways. You can use either text mode or icon mode. Um, I kind of prefer text mode because I don't have all the icons memorized, but you might feel differently. Um, so luckily they give us choices. Um, and the first step with Pro Builder would be to create a new shape. Um, I like to actually hit the plus button on this because it gives you uh, a full shape tool and lets you choose which shape and all the um, particulars about that shape. So if you pull this down, um, you've got choices like cube, sprite, prism, stairs, a cylinder, a door, a plane, a pipe, it's like a cylinder with an opening in the middle, um, cone, arch, sphere, and torus, which is like a donut. Um, so a lot of these are um, things that you would otherwise be unable to make um, inside of Unity. But then what's really cool is uh, you can take that further and like even if you start with a cube, um, now we can start editing this and make it into a more complex 3D object. So once you've picked your shape, um, you click build and it makes one and then gets ready to build a second one. Um, so if you don't want to build a second one, you can just hit X and now you've got, uh, you've got your shape. So this shape can be selected and moved around in the normal way in Unity, um, but there are also uh, selection tools that allow us to make more complex um, alterations and kind of 3D modeling edits to these basic shapes. So along the top, there is um, 
an object selection mode, which uh, works like it always has in Unity. You know, you select the whole object and then can move or shape or rotate it. But there's also a vertex selection, an edge selection, and a face selection. Um, and if you're unfamiliar with these terms from like 3D modeling, the way it works is a face is um, like a polygon, usually like a four-sided figure, but sometimes it's a triangle or, or some kind of other uh, N-sided gone. Um, but it's like a 2D face of the 3D object. Um, so any rectangular side of this cube is a face and I can select them all separately. Um, edges are edges and you can select them separately or you could hold um, control or shift to start selecting multiple faces at once. And then vertexes or vertices are the uh, tiny little points at the edges of every face. Um, so the reason this is useful is you can actually uh, click a face and move and now we don't have the same shaped cube anymore. Um, so if you wanted to start to build out, um, you know, a, a different shape, you could do it this way. Um, likewise, you know, if you grab a, a vertex and pull, now we've got a very different shape than we had before. Um, the other cool thing about Pro Builder is you can um, select a face and then uh, scale. So I'm going to use the scale tool, shrink it down. Um, and now we've got a, a much more irregularly shaped object. Um, you could also rotate so that this face has a twist to it. Um, and then finally, you can also add more detail by holding shift in combination with these tools. So if I hold shift while I move this out, now I've got another set of faces. Um, and then if I hold shift while I am scaling, I've inset a face inside that face. And then I can hold shift and push in. So now I've got a hallway. Um, and at the end of the hallway, I could um, hold shift, shrink it in, and maybe make like a, uh, a window or cupboard in there. Um, so this is how you could take a simple cube and turn it into a much more complex model. Um, just by selecting faces, edges, and vertices, and either moving, rotating, or scaling them, plus holding shift to, um, to essentially extrude those. Now, there are also a lot of um, options in the Pro Builder window, um, some of which we've just used kind of without knowing it, um, like doing things like extruding faces is our 3D modeling term for um, sort of uh, drawing out um, a face. And, uh, and doing what we were doing while we were holding shift. But there's things you can do, like you can um, delete faces. So now we could have an opening um, in the top um, and the sides still have faces, but the top one doesn't anymore. Um, so there's a lot of options like that uh, that, you can, that you can work with here. The other cool thing about Pro Builder is that um, you can paint um, either uh, colors or materials per face. So for example, on these stairs, um, I'm making every other stair yellow. Um, I'm holding shift, selecting all those faces that are relevant. Um, you can even draw a square um, to select multiple at once if that's useful. And uh, then I'm going to go up to vertex colors and apply this color. Um, and each of these colors can be customized. So it comes with a standard palette, but if I needed to change my yellow to a slightly different yellow, I could do that. Um, so not only can you paint per face, um, but you can also put on um, materials using the uh, material editor. And so you can install materials um, either that you've made or that you've downloaded into each of these material palette slots and then um, put materials, different 
uh, materials on each face. So here's like a brick material over the whole of this staircase. Um, but we could change every other material um, on this one to the blank material if we wanted um, or any other material we would download. So you could use Pro Builder to build um, a, a, a sort of architectural level. Um, you could use it to build a sort of cartoony Dr. Seuss shapes. Um, in this case, I used just a cube and face painting to make a kind of wonky um, cartoony skyscraper. Uh, all this stuff is um, sort of adds exciting um, and, and fairly accessible 3D modeling possibilities to uh, Unity's editor without having to go out to a, a different program.